Hello everyone, and welcome to Damien's Reviews. Tonight, it's an ice beer review. I'm doing Keystone Ice. Alright, Keystone Ice was introduced in 1994 by the Coors Brewing Company. It was to compete in the ice beer craze during the 1990s, and what makes this one unique is it says that it's an ale. And... Um, I've looked at previous can designs in the past, even back to the original 94 design, they all say ale, so Keystone Ice might actually be an ice brewed ale, but yet, um, logic would suggest that, you know, if it's an ale, it would do better as it warms, but that's not been my experience with this beer. It's done great cold, and as it warms above, like, 40 degrees, no boy, no. So it's a 5.9% ice beer. It's 145 calories. The ingredients are water, barley malt, corn syrup, yeast, and hop extract. So I've had this beer several times in the past. I should go ahead and just crack this bad boy open and get into the review. Okay, somewhat thick white head. Uh, it's a nice clear golden color. Some bubbles streaming up. So, I mean, it looks great. Let's go and go with the aroma. Very malty, corny, grainy, bready. And there's a little hop action going on, but not much. I mean, Smells just like regular old beer. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. Cheers. So up front, get a nice malt sweetness. Then in the middle, get a little corniness as well as um, some white bread, white bread crust. And then in the end, a little bit of hot bitterness, but not much. Then a thin shallop. It is very crisp, clean, refreshing, super dry, and the drinkability as well, very high. Body and mouthfeel. And body and mouthfeel are definitely light. Not light and water, but definitely light. So how would I rate this beer? Well, it has its own little peculiarity to it. After it goes down, um, there's a little bit of like an aftertaste of banana and clove, which is a little odd. And there's a little undertaste of alcohol throughout the duration of the sip, but it's not very prevalent. But I mean, overall it is a very smooth drinking ice beer. But it is definitely one of the better ones. It's the one that has withstood the test of time, just like um, Bud Ice, Natty Ice, Bush Ice, and Milwaukee's Best Ice, and a few others out there. So, I mean... Mm. I would definitely rate this one a, um, I would rate a 95 out of 100, solid A. It is an excellent ice beer, it's just a little, a little strange, a little peculiar, but I mean, it's nothing off-putting. It is very good, actually. Now, one thing I want to show you before we hop off of here is, um, Coors Brewing Company was sued by Stone Brewing Company because it says Stone on the can, but it says Keystone with the uh, Coors Brewing Company and Boss is actually on the can. And to my knowledge, this lawsuit is still going on. And I hope they lose because at this point they're just really grasping at straws. So, yeah, 95 out of 100. An excellent ice beer once was stood the test time. If you can find it in your area, buy it, try it, see what you think. I got a 15 pack at the place I work. Um, it is a little expensive here in Tennessee. It was like uh, eleven ninety seven for a fifteen pack. Yeah, as Tennesseans, we love to drink, so they're gonna milk every penny they can for it out of revenue. So I hope you all enjoyed this review. Stick around; there will be more. And as always, you all have an excellent one. And cheers.